What's up YouTube, Emporio here. Today I'll be showing you how to get a kill cam or other would say death cam for games you would like to um, play. Um, this works for games I would say like almost like everything but I would say that people would prefer using it for games like uh, <coughs> League of Legends, uh, Heroes of the Storm, Dota or Heroes of Never. And um, I'll show you today how to install and how it works and uh, yeah, how it looks like. So let's get this started. Um, I think it would be the easiest if we would just start a normal game. But before all, I'll show you how to download this fancy stuff. Um, people might know this is existing, so we will use Overwolf for this. It's a, let's say, add-on for, what's it called, uh, TeamSpeak. So once you download it, Overwolf, should be here on your desktop. Uh, just start it. Okay, so this is how it looks like when you installed Overwolf. You can close this little thingy here, like this. Just make it <coughs> resize it to the taskbar. <coughs> Once you have installed it, then you go for apps. Okay, we want to search for apps. Well, it works like this, and then we'll look for something like Replay Hood. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go here. And if you haven't installed it yet, then you should be able to simply uh, click here on install. Once it, it has been installed, you can click on launch. Okay. Um, this is how it's going to look in game as well. I just click on activate or close. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so, okay. Uh, we now do have overwolf and the replayer installed so we'll just go into a game into a bot game there we go it did seem like um, it Time for a would true uh, have problems with um, other graphic cards than NVIDIA, but I think most of the people have NVIDIA cards, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm using an uh, AMD card, and for me, it just it works just fine, so I don't think there will be any problems with any other graphic cards. Mm -hmm. So this does take some time. I guess I'll just skip this. So as we can see the game is loading just fine. Hopefully quickly. So we are about to hit the rift. Somehow, I guess. There we go. Over here. So in game to open Overwolf, yeah, activate anyway. So some reason it's okay. It's it's working. We just need some time. So I do have a decent FPS, but it's limited for me. I think. Yeah. So. Let's just check this out without any limitation. There we go. Okay. Careful. Thirty seconds into minion spawn. Thank you for letting me mid. So when you're in game, all you want to do is press Control 
and tab and then you'll see this little like menu from overwolf here and you click on replay hud and here you got settings like show mouse overlay show keyboard overlay all this does you'll see it soon um that it will show you in the replay what buttons you've been pressing before you died so it's quite handy so we'll just wait for some minions and do some little stuff Come on, Rise. Just want to have fun with you. Let's go. Maybe I should just suicide. So now we'll just press Control and F9. This way. An enemy has been uh, Shift and F9, okay. So we'll just press Shift and F9, An enemy has and then we got the replay. So here's it's showing what we're pressing, and if I flash, then so now we'll just press everything. And F9. Holy shit! It's even recording my sound. So basically, um, you can see the replay here, and it's still like in-game. It's not gonna like affect you that much. Um, but I would say you, I would usually only use it when I die. So you got nothing to do but shopping, anyways. And then you can just check this, and you can even move it around. So there, are, there are no s settings to. Uh, there's a setting to change the color, but there's no settings to resize it. So, yeah, but I don't think that matters. There's even an option to set how many seconds it should record. So this number is for how many seconds it should be recording as a dead cam. And uh, you should use, um, um, there should be settings as well to set where they are being saved. So you can set these and then you can use it as a, let's say, um, when you want to do some replays um, on how you died or how you killed someone, it should be fair enough. I don't know how it's um, working and uh, you can just close this by the way. If I open it again, it's just gonna show me the replay, what happened before in 20 seconds. Um, I don't know how this is affecting lower configurations so it would be nice if you guys would give me some feedback how it's working on a laptop as example and yeah that, then i could maybe do some tweaks um how to improve the performance for this software because i uh, usually i would have around 150 frames per sec i'm playing on full hd and um high resolution settings everything so it's it is affecting my pc not that much but it is still kind of i would say like 
having a recording software that instantly gives you your replay so it is affecting your PC quite but still it works um the other fun thing is that for this you don't really need um, to have it borderless so it's fine if you use uh, full screen mode so it's still gonna work you don't have to alt tab or something so that would be it and I'll just try to finish this game quickly thanks for watching and uh, if you liked my video it would be nice if you would l leave a So, so there's one more funny future for this uh, tool. Um, if I die, it should automatically give me the possibility to, uh, what's it called? Mm, show me the replay. So, I'll just suicide. And yeah now i can just simply click on click to watch replay and it sh will show me my replay how i died so yeah can even like scroll into it so i'm not sure if this is working and uh, other games than league of legends but I guess that's something you guys will have to find out. Um, though the replay function overall, if you simply click on Shift F9, it will show you the last 20 seconds. So it should be working for games like Counter Strike, even. So I don't think it matters which game you're playing, but for Le League of Legends, it's automatically gonna show you the replay once you've died so that's quite nice so um, for now we'll check this out in uh, Counter-Strike because it would be quite cool if this uh, replay um, would work in Counter-Strike as well um, for now it does seem like I can access Overwolf just fine so let's just click on activate because I want to activate it. Is it activated now? We'll just check. There we go. Replay hard. Yes, it is. So we'll just go into. Yeah. One thing I've noticed um, if you click on Overwolf once, you want to click on Control and Tab again to close the overlay. Okay. Unless you don't close it, um, you won't be able to click on anything else. So just control tab again. That's quite cool because uh, Counter Strike uses uh, shift and tab, so there wouldn't be any problem. Um, we'll just find a casual game. I would say Demolition. Demolition goes quick. So let's see. There we go. Um, 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 um. So, we're in game. Pick something, it doesn't really matter. I'll just run in and suicide. Maybe I'll try to kill someone and then suicide, but yeah. Let's just do it. So, um, let's see how it works. Okay, I did die. Fuck that. Um, okay, well, just click Control Tab and click on Watch Replay. And as we can see, it works. So, um, this is a good way to um, check out the replays and well you don't get a different point of view but it is a good way to check the replay f how you died or what you did fuck up so 
um, I think it's nice and again you have to click control and tab to get back into the game so yeah that should be it I just click it there we go so uh, thanks for watching guys and if you like the video leave me a like and for future videos just press on that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you later I guess Peace.